And now we cross over to Parliament buildings where the Departmental Committee on Finance and National Planning in the National Assembly is currently holding public hearings on the housing levy in public hearings on the Affordable Housing Bill 2023. Now the committee is engaging stakeholders. Currently it's the ICPK led by their chair, Philip Kai, that are making their presentation. Let's listen in. The building ecosystem. I hope I've communicated. Now we are this speak. English came from uh, somewhere. Yes. So, so let me see if I got it right. And then the gentleman next to you will clarify. So we say that as government, we have 89 billion shillings. That guarantees that the private sector, if you build these houses that meet this criteria, once you finish, we'll take them. And then they can go to build something else. And then once the government takes them, then they can give them to the civil servants and to all those people that want them. And now you, so the government is not in the business of supervising the constructions and of, and of doing the constructions. So the private sector gets the one in the business of constructing <coughs> houses, of taking them to government. And because now the customers of these houses are Kenyans and they know the government already has houses, now government sells them to Kenya. Is that what you mean? Okay, now you're on the same page. That took a minute. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Chair and Honorable Members, esteemed stakeholders. I think it's just to also maybe then give practical examples uh, because this is not something that has, this is something that has already been done. So as we speak, we already have a REIT uh, that is already in existence. That is the ACON uh, development REIT. We have uh, largely three kinds of REITs. We have development REIT that is for new buildings. So if you want to raise money to construct new affordable housing units, you can do a development REIT. And then we have an income REIT. You talked about national housing. They already have maybe some some uh, some assets that are already there. That too can be converted into a REIT. And then we also have an Islamic REIT, even for financial inclusion. So under the D REIT and I REIT, we have the ACON, student, affordable student accommodation. So uh, most of the universities are actually being funded by, by, by a REIT. So it is already there in most of the universities. So it is that similar structure that we want to, to bring to market. And then also my colleague here, what he didn't also disclose, he's also the chair, the CEO of Liaison. So they have also done some asukuk for military houses. So it is something that is already being proven and we believe that this structure will be able to do financing. In a nutshell, the capital markets exist so that we can be able to mobilize long-term financing for development. So instead of penalizing all Kenyans, in the spirit of our motto, Harambe. Well, those live updates right there coming on your screen are from a parliament buildings where the discussion is revolving the housing levy we shall be keeping you updated for now we move on